What I wish other people knew about the employees at AEC is they're angels in disguise. They come to the rescue when they don't have to. They just show up, and showing up sometimes is the most important thing. From April to September, I had a rather unusual 2021. Practically, well, half of my family was wiped out by COVID. In April, my mother and father, Dick and Judy Waldrop, they passed away within nine days of each other. And if that wasn't the end of it, we had a couple of months to almost catch our breath. But then my grandmother, who was 100, she passed away on August 17th. Her name was Ruby. Then, in the process, um, my husband and myself and our two kids, we were actually camping at Panther Creek State Park. He had already started getting sick about the 15th, 16th of August, and we did not realize that it was COVID as well. By Wednesday, me and him were sick. The kids got sick about Thursday. So we had to deal with getting a camper home, all with COVID, we got to the house. His birthday was the 21st, he turned 48 years old. The 22nd of August, we were going to the emergency room because he couldn't breathe. He was in the emergency room for about three days. By Thursday, they were telling me he was on a vent. There are a lot of people who showed up on my doorstep. There's a lot of people who showed up at the hospital parking lot. But that was what I call my 41 days of hell because it took 41 days in total to finish him off. So, and I have to say, he was my best friend and I knew him since I was 16. And um, his name was Dwayne Pratt. And had he made it, we would have been married 25 years. These lovely people here had a, a dinner or supper and I got a phone call and didn't even have enough sense to know what they'd done to me. I, they handed me some stuff and I really didn't know exactly what they had done. So that's why I say they're sneaky little angels here. And they are, they're just people and they care enough just to show up sometimes. Well, the culture and the people at AEC helped me because they acted better than the average person. They acted better than family. We do have family atmosphere. I don't care what anybody says. We spend a lot of time together. We know each other in and out. And I have seen people do wonderful things for one another here. Um, when people call in and they're kind to us, I think it spreads the kindness. Being appreciative of knowing that that person, you know, is doing without um, and them having the foresight to say thank you, I know you guys are working, I think that carries to the next phone call and it helps us be more positive. Um, I did have an instance where I had a lady who was a young widow herself, it wasn't COVID that got him and I think he was about the same age, um, but she and I talked for about 30 minutes on the phone and she cried on me and I told her, I said, here's, here's what you do and nobody's gonna tell it's wrong, nobody's gonna tell you. I said, there are no rules, but just know you're not alone and you can call up here any time. I gave her my extension and she actually physically made a trip up here um, and spoke with the ladies out front and they hollered at me and I came out and she, she told me, she said, thank you. She said, I think I was meant to talk to you. And I said, well, heck, maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Maybe I'm just supposed to share all this wonder with everybody. I feel like AEC employees are different than other places that I have worked because the environment is different. We show up for each other, whether it be, you know, a wedding or a baby shower or a funeral. We show up and we lift each other up. We celebrate together, we mourn together. It's a really good place to work. You feel at home and you feel like you're, you can be yourself here and you're with your family, so. But when I, I felt like when this happened to Darla, that we couldn't just watch. We had to act and it was more than in just a potluck. We did a potluck and we took up money. But it, it was more than money. It wasn't even about money. It was about showing her that we loved her and that we supported her and her kids. 
and that she didn't have to carry this burden alone, that she wasn't alone. I know she felt so alone, but she wasn't. We wanted her to know that she, she just needed to be, she just needed to be with her and the kids. We wanted her to know that she was taken care of and that we cared and, and I really, I really feel like we did that. She's just, she's a great girl and I really appreciate her and the love that she has for her members and, and for us and even our kids and just, you know, for everything that she has went through, she's our Darla and, and I'm forever grateful, you know, of our relationship and her compassion.